irregularities, including voters registered after the closing date and some who voted twice. Deputy Prime Minister Mutejwa Mizing has appealed to SEDEC to assist the Mountain Kingdom with a forensic audit to determine the extent of the irregularities. He also appealed to SEDEC and the European Union to convince a former Prime Minister Tom Tabani and his allies to agree to a government of national unity like they proposed before elections for the benefit of constitution reforms. Ousted after barely two years in government, Lesotho's second coalition government of seven parties has lost elections. It alleges that some voters registered after the closing date, while others who voted were not registered. We accept the outcome, but there were irregularities, and only a forensic audit will determine to what extent they affected the outcome. They won't stop the formation of government, but they will take legal action to address their concerns. Prior to the elections, SADC facilitator Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa and the European Union recommended a government of national unity, the Musisidi government rejected it and opted for the poll. Now Tabani and his allies have announced their intent to form government with 63 of 120 seats of the National Assembly, and the Musisidi side has made a U-turn. There is no government formed yet, and Sadak and EU, who suggested a government of national unity, should facilitate it now for reforms. If they don't support the government of national unity this time, we will know that they use double standards. They agree with the Tabane Alliance that the country needs a Truth and Reconciliation Commission on condition that those in power don't abuse it. It is not secret that some of the opposition wanted to victimize members of the army, but we are happy that we all agree on truth and reconciliation for stability. We agree with the truth and reconciliation, but we have heard that some want to use it to target Mr. Mitzing and General Kamodi. If that is true, it will never see the light of day. The National Assembly will sit on Monday for swearing-in of MPs and to elect a Speaker and Deputy Speaker. Ntakwana Ngatani, SABC News, Maseru Lesotho.